Hey guys, Ed here, back at it again with another mukbang. I am really excited about today. I am gonna do something that I've never done in this YouTube channel, and I'm kind of nervous about it, but no, don't worry about that. I am gonna be telling a story about history. This is about a young lady. who was born early enough, enough in our time to wear braces, but also, I guess, late enough to be executed by guillotine. Crazy, right? And by the way, we are eating Chipotle again, as we have several times on this channel, and it's great. I'm not complaining. Chicken burrito, chips, large diet soda. Diet Coke, I think. I am still on that diet. Of, and that diet consists of, I should have specified that. I say that a lot on this channel, that I'm on a diet, and that means that I don't really, it just means I drink diet soda. <laughs> Is that bad? Yes. Doesn't matter. I don't know. But I have been eating less processed foods. And that's also part of my diet, but I'm not like, there's no specific diet. Just really just eat less. And uh, that's about it. But yeah, let's get some more chips. Um, back to the story of the lady who was born enough early to be executed by guillotine or late enough in our time because we don't that doesn't happen very often these days i hope not anyways holy shit but you guys don't know who i'm talking about i'm talking about queen holy fuck how did i forget her name marie antoinette and Toinette, i think <laughs> i was like i've been thinking about this all day queen marie antoinette i think the one that said let them eat cake and was Hence, hung for that. And I'm like, damn. Because the other day, like, I was watching a YouTube video the other day in preparation for this and this story. Because I was going to originally eat cake and name the title Love Me Cake, but that goes against my diet. <laughs> so I decided to just tell the story. Anyways. But, um, yeah, back to her story. I... I didn't, I thought she was just a really shitty person, like, that was, had no empathy for these poor people. The, and by the way, if you don't know who Queen Marie Antoinette, I can't say her name, but I think I already, you guys know who she is. If you know, you know, if you don't, I'm sorry. Um, she, like, she was the Queen of France during one of their worst times ever. They were in, like, in a bad depression, I think, due to the result of World War One. Um... So they were broke and she liked to live lavishly and the people of France did not fuck with that. It was said that her annual budget for her, I guess her attire was 3.6 million, whatever the fuck's francs, I think, currency they used back then. And she would often exceed that. And imagine hearing that as a poor person in France. Like, and life conditions were tough. Like, we think we have it tough. Theirs were tougher. They had like fucking pot chambers. You gotta sit around with your shit in the corner. <laughs> that would suck. We have, we have stuff we take for granted, like plumbing, electricity, deep phones. Look at this. Never before in their time could we have done any of this. It's pretty lit. But back to the story. So, yeah, her people hated her for that. But, and so, and that was the only version of her that I knew was this self entitled, unempathetic queen that was like evil, honestly. I'm like, that's a fucked up queen. Glad they executed that bitch. But no, after learning. I mean, she was married off with like six years old to some, well, to the king of France to help proctor peace between. 
the German and the French because that was what people did back then. But that I know that's true. So I'm not. If this that statement leads me to believe that my earlier statement about them being broke due to World War One is inaccurate. But they were definitely broke due to some war. Oh, the Eight Years War. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. World War One this happens much later in time. I would say that doesn't make any fucking sense. But yeah. Okay. But that that's what I, the Eight Years War. They were broke from that, which was it was just it was exactly what it sounds like. It's an Eight Year War. She was born at the tail end of it. But oh yeah. So she was married off to him at the age of six. And. She was okay with the idea. She was all about it. You know, made her queen. That's kind of late. I'd be kind of like, you know, if, I don't know. I, I'm not saying I okay, I'm okay with arranged marriages. But if someone told me today that I was going to be married to a queen and be made king, I would not be complaining. That's all I'm saying. I'd be like, okay. When should I show up for the tuxedo fit? Mm-mm. But even before she was married off to the king of France, or the soon to be, he was the prince. It was said she wasn't very bright because she could barely, at the age of six, barely write in her own language of, I think Slavic, which is like a, like German. And as someone, I, I don't, and I think that's like a, people slandering her because as someone that's, Took in German one and two in high school. I can totally understand the fuck a six year old would not understand that. That is tough. Like, what are they talking about? No, that is a bad basing of knowledge. Like, I don't know that they should maybe. Ch she probably could do other things better than write in German. But that is what is said about her. And she was also very outgoing, which is the exact opposite of the king that she was married to he was a very shy person so that you know that always also did not look good in for her favor i guess because she was often off doing her own thing not by his side but since she was married to him at the age of six she was thrown into like being a queen she was i don't know she wasn't really prepped for it in the way others would be, I guess. Maybe she was, maybe she wasn't. But point is, once she got to France, they were like, holy shit, what are you? You're not a queen, you gotta dress you up. So you look like a beautiful queen, a great, you know, I guess just to, to put his ass. So from a very young age, she was accustomed to living this very, very lavish lifestyle. And she got used to it. It was said that her hair would be like towers high, covered in jewels. And at one, the one I remember the most is that after, like, to celebrate a um, pirate, no, not a pirate, a uh, battleship, like, war or battle, she had a whole ass boat in her hair. That's, like, that's crazy. But yeah, and she would have dresses made from, I guess, the top designers of their time, and it was expensive. So, yeah, she, then that's how she was able to spend so much on her annual like drip, drip. Yeah, she was getting her drip, her annual drip budget. She like, she was like, Ooh. and again, this just pissed the Germans off. No, the French off, the French, the French poor. But can you really blame a child? Like, I don't know, for living like that, then especially continuing to live like that into adult adulthood, and that's all she was like taught. The French people do not, did not share the empathy I did. They, um, and the video I watched stated that it was likely even a rumor, because it's like, there's no way of really proving the fuck that she said that. And, um, well, that, that she said, let them eat cake in a response to they have no bread. But it was an accurate representation of what the French people thought. 
she would say that's how they viewed her as an ignorant queen that did not care for them. So, in that sense, they were okay with doing what they did, was, which was execute her by guillotine. But it, it is recorded, and this is facts, because a lot of the other things surrounding her just aren't just like hearsay. But one thing that is recorded is that she, when she was being taken up to be executed or um, guillotined, she apologized to the guy who's going to do it. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Guy wearing a black hood. For stepping on his foot. So I, I think she seemed like a nice lady. Like, I would fuck. If someone was executing me, I'm not apologizing for shit. I'd be spitting on everybody. <laughs> fuck you guys. I mean, they're already going to kill you. What are they going to do about it? Kill you harder? Probably, but it is what it is. I mean, I, I gonna She, that shows to me anyways that maybe she didn't deserve to be executed. Maybe, I don't know, be queened. Because I don't think she was fit for the role, but she was a six-year-old when she was put there. So, yeah, it's tough. And I've been doing a lot more talking than eating. And that's okay. It's really good. Tomorrow is my first day off in a week and a half, and I am super excited for that. I really hope a new episode of, what's the show, American Horror Story is out tonight because I can stay up and wait and watch it in the spooky times. Usually, I don't, I don't get to stay up past like 8 or 9. So I have to get up so early for work, but no work tomorrow. have any recommendations for shows or movies that are going to be on Hulu or HBO Max or Disney Plus let me know I don't pay for Netflix annoyingly I have it on my phone because I think my head pays for that <laughs> and um behind you guys is the television which is where I watch most of like pretty much all my television or yeah, of course. That's where I watch most of my media, I should say. And it doesn't have Netflix, so I don't. I don't like to. I don't like watching from my phone. It's not as enjoyable. My mood just keeps getting better and better because I realized I, realized I have no chores today. <laughs> that won't matter if I die though, holy crap, I gotta stay alive.
they got swallowed a chip incorrectly and that is hurting but anyways i think that is going to be the end of the mukbang for today i hope you guys like my story of queen marie antoinette there i got i got it out finally if you're still watching hit like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next mukbang